Yeah, buddy. Ten seconds. Got this dog. Dropping. Get it. Let's go. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. god. This is my first time to Baker and so I didn't really know what to expect and from the start of the drive all the way up it's just nothing but beautiful. Something out of like a Lord of the Rings movie is furry trees all around you, tons of moss, lots of life in these forests. Then you get up to Mount Baker and it just opens up into this huge wide open mountain and you just look at it and you're like this thing just goes all the way up into Canada, we can just keep going. Everywhere you look at Baker is somewhere that has a ton of potential for a massive jump, a step over, a step down. I mean, the possibilities are endless at this place. It's pretty much the entire hill is just a bunch of rolls with a lot of perfect landing, so it's pretty ideal. Alright, we got Blunk dropping in 10. Drop! Growing up, I watched a lot of old Theory 3 Poor Boys movies and we kind of went out and tried to revisit some of those spots and see what tricks we could kind of get on those. I was a little kid when I first saw the journal and saw Margetts do a Kang on this jump. Pretty unreal to be living the dream like this. And it's really cool just to see all those old dudes I've looked up to hitting this stuff and then coming out here and trying to like one-up them in a way, you know? Oh, buddy. <laughs> Hey, it's Cole. I'm at the top. Alright, sounds good. I'm dropping in 10. Drop. Let's go, Cole. When I first moved to Mount Baker, it was almost 100% a uh, snowboard scene. We had you know, Craig Kelly, Jeff Fulton, Dan Donnelly, like all the biggest names of snowboarding came from here. And then once fat skis came out, it kind of exploded for the ski scene. We had guys like you know Charlie Ager come down here, we had Dana Flair, James Heim, you name it from the ski industry has been here. This spot is a mecca for core snowboarders, super core skiers, and it's the perfect playground to kind of get after it. Mount Baker's always kind of had that open mindset of, uh, we'll let people like be responsible for those decisions, test their own limits, and challenge themselves. Three, two, one, here goes. Awesome. Yeah, we'll call that up for you.
I've been kind of waiting for the opportunity to do some backcountry kind of stuff, and it's definitely not like showing up to a slope style course where everything's ready to go. He's a little small, maybe. It makes it way more exciting and meaningful when you land a trick because you have a connection to the jump. <laughs> You just feel a lot of energy and a lot of like history here and it's been a lot of fun. Everything comes together at Mount Baker to create the perfect proving ground for free ride skier.